Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got an update for you on this little project here. This is my open source 3D printable everyday carry knife disassembly toolkit uh, sort of stand. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the project idea, my original goal was just to make something that everybody could use. Anybody with a 3D printer or with access to the internet to call, you know, contact somebody else with a 3D printer to make it for them could put all of their various tools into um, and keep things organized as they are going about their days uh, doing you know knife disassemblies or any other kind of disassembly, right? But the goal was to create a little thing where I could put all of my various various tools into this and, uh, well, have easy access to them. Uh, and included a bunch of the kind of things that one would use on a normal basis, right? Things like, for instance, well, tweezers, things like the uh, fabric patches that I use on a regular basis to, uh, you know, clean things up. Watch spring bar tools. Of course, my, uh, my screwdrivers live in here, my uh, little glue stick. This guy in the back here, some coins. But anyways, this was an easy way for me to access the tools. And this works great. Um, in fact, this is a very, very nice little product sort of thing. I, I am completely biased there, but it's free and you can make one yourself. So guess what? No conflict of interest. Uh, well, I guess maybe I want you to download it. So then, con anyways, do I have to hold this thing? I, I'm the manufacturer. I don't freaking know. Anyways, so I made this guy. But the thing is, there were some things that were driving me a little bit crazy as I used it more. Um, one of those things was this position right here. Every time I want to get into my spudger, and I very often do, I had to kind of reach over these watch spring bar tools, which are not the kindest things to put your finger on, get between it and the... And this turned out to be a bit of a pain, right? I ended up you know, kind of having some issues on occasion grabbing it. And there's not just really a great way to get in there and grab. So I ended up doing weird things like that. And that's not amazing. So I wanted to reposition that. The other thing was actually, the idea was given to me by one of the commenters on my original video who said something along the lines of, and I forget who you were, my, my deepest apologies, but Nick, oh my God, you should have, you did this wrong. You should put the tallest tools first. And my immediate thought was, no, that's not true because I want to put the tools that I can most easily access closest to me. And that's how I designed it initially. I always use this oil. I almost always use these guys. I almost always use wipes and I always use screwdrivers. And it's very easy to get to my Loctite, right? These are easy to get to. <clears throat> I figured, you know what? I don't need that tall, this kind of organization. I can grab whatever I want. But then the more often I use this guy in disassemblies and whatnot, I kind of found myself or like during a review, I might have to go get my flashlight. And then I'm kind of reaching around to the side there. Or I might be, you know, going for, uh, for instance, this little guy. Uh, and there's kind of some awkward motions with it. And given that a lot of these things are a little bit on the sharper side... I decided, you know what, let me give that a shot. And so I created version 2.0 of this. And the version 2.0 of this particular product here uh, just moves this little slot here and then reorders everything such that the tallest things are in the back. Not a whole lot changes on this side. So I have another version of this exact size here that is available for you on the on the GitHub page. I'll link it down below. Um, and so if you'd like to print a new version of it or, uh, you know, print the, the, the one for the first time, uh, that's a really great opportunity. And again, it is completely completely free, and I'm including the source file um, done in OpenSCAD, which is OpenSCAD, I don't know which. But anyways, uh, so that way you can modify it for your own tools if you decide to down the road. The other major comment, though, and the other thing that kind of kept bothering me about this design is this had almost everything I needed, right? This was great because I could just grab this, bring it down to the kitchen table, for instance, and do some maintenance on something that wasn't getting filmed, right? That was very, very nice, but I was missing two important elements of it. Um, all of you know that two of the things that I almost always use in disassembly are uh, rubbing alcohol, in this case in a little twisty lock thing, and then Q-tips. And uh, what I've had is this bottle separately on the desk, and I've had the, 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 the Q-tips in a little container, but I thought to myself, well, wait a second, could I go a little bit bigger? Could I include that? And so I did. And I've created version 2.0, the large size of this. This is almost exactly the same thing over here, except in this case, the, uh, the, the Loctite. Well, actually, here, I'll just start moving things over here. So what we have here is uh, basically the same idea in a lot of places. But again, we are doing things in terms of height. So these are very easy to access. These are very easy to reach over and access. This guy is now very easily grabbable right over here. And then along the back here, still have room for bits. Still have room for a pair of coins uh, right over here. There we go, and there we go. Uh, put that there, put that there. I still have room for the inordinately expensive but fancy cool screwdriver. I still have room for this little guy right here, 
for tweezers, this part didn't really change particularly. I have places for all of my various oils, which uh, in this case, although this guy is in the back and a little hard to retrieve, I almost never use the uh, other grades of these oils. Um, I've got room for my Rat Bastard tool. I've got the Leatherman right here. I've got a place for this in the center here. And then my various watch spring bar tools. So now everything is done in order of, uh, well, basically ascending height, moving back. A couple of little exceptions, but for things I don't particularly care much about. I'm not very often looking for these kinds of bits. Um, those don't come up very often. But then additionally, I included this little hole in the back here. And this little hole actually fits quite nicely, this little alcohol bottle here. And then this little cup. And this guy just prints up. This is not separate. This is just a part of the, the, the model itself. And this little cup actually is able to hold a surprise number of q-tips so it just kind of hangs out right there and so now i have literally everything i could use to uh do any kind of knife disassembly uh right here for the waiting right uh very easy to grab and so this is version two and this is the largest size so on the github you're going to see reference to the regular size and you're going to see the the, the the big size here that has this extra q-tip this extra alcohol thing and again remember you might be the oh my god Nick, my alcohol bottles in the set well that's okay just go in there grab your freaking calipers where are my freaking calipers they were around here someplace. Oh, I was using them downstairs, damn it. But anyways, grab your freaking ruler. Where's my ruler? I am just, I'm killing it today, that's for sure. And go on ahead and measure whatever the size bottle you're in, and then plug it into the CAD, right? And then, if you got a 3D printer, you can uh, print it out, or you can send it along to a third-party service that will go ahead and print things. But anyways, you can get that done there. The color here is different. That's just because I ran out of the black filament, so I moved over to this gray. Um, but nonetheless, it has been great. It is not a, uh, it's not a particularly small part. Um, this ended up taking about 13 hours to print out. But that's also because I did it on slow settings, and, well, I went to bed, and when I got up, I had a new print, so that was cool. But nonetheless, um, this seems to be working great, and this is an improvement in nearly every way. By the way, don't worry about this little bit here. I uh, had a little bit of trouble deburring. Was a little aggressive there with the uh, <laughs> with the surrounding skirt, but anyways. So there you go. This is the new version of that. Um, it's going to be up on the GitHub. It remains free for everybody to use. Um, feel free to take it. Feel free to use it. To remix it. Do whatever the heck you want with it. Um, it is yours for the taking. But it is a very very useful tool, and it now has everything I need right there waiting for me, and will be a constant companion on my desk from here on out. So if you want the smaller size or you don't need the alcohol and Q-tips, go ahead and get the new version of this. I didn't print the new one out because, dude, I got that one. Um, but this will also be available for smaller printers, but the full size is available. And in a lot of ways, at least for my life, is a little bit of an improvement. So I figured I'd share it with you all. Hope this has been interesting to you and have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. And uh, don't worry, someday your prints will come. Ah! 3D prints? No? Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of a tool. Bye now.